A scaphoid fracture is a broken bone in the wrist. The small bones in the wrist are known as the carpal bones. One of the carpal bones at the base of the thumb is known as the scaphoid. Scaphoid fractures account for more than half of fractures of the carpal bones. Fracture healing occurs in three stages. First, the broken bone bleeds, forming a collection of blood known as a hematoma. The hematoma is rich in cells that are capable of growing new cartilage and bone. During the second stage, these cells set to work building a callus that bridges across the fracture site to hold the bone fragments together. The callus is at first more cartilage than bone. It is known as a soft callus. This soft callus gradually begins to fill in with bone, evolving into a more stable hard callus. During the third stage, the bone slowly remodels itself, taking on a shape similar to its original shape and so blood supply is very important in fracture healing. Exceptional care must be taken with scaphoid fractures because they may not heal well without appropriate treatment. This is because of the way blood is supplied to the scaphoid. Blood is carried to one side of the scaphoid by way of small branches from the radial artery. A fracture can disrupt blood supply to the other side of the scaphoid. This can keep the bone from healing and can even lead to bone death where there is insufficient blood. Some scaphoid fractures can be treated non-surgically with casting. A long arm cast is applied that extends up the thumb. This keeps the fracture fragments from moving around so a bone callus can form and the fracture can heal. After about six weeks, the long arm cast can be changed to a short arm cast. This is usually worn for another six weeks while the fracture continues to heal. Often, casting is not enough to hold the fracture fragments in place and surgery is necessary. Scaphoid fractures may be displaced or non-displaced. In non-displaced fractures, there is a crack through the bone, but the fragments remain together and in place. In displaced fractures, the fragments are pushed or pulled apart, making it more difficult to heal back together. Non-displaced fractures can often be treated without surgery, but displaced fractures should be treated surgically. Fractures may occur at the distal pole of the scaphoid, where there is good blood supply, or they may occur at the waist or proximal pole, where the blood supply is not as dependable. Fractures at the distal pole tend to heal better and more quickly if treated non-surgically than fractures at the proximal pole and so surgery is often recommended for fractures at the proximal pole. Sometimes even non-displaced fractures fail to heal with casting. This is known as non-union. When non-union occurs despite several weeks of casting, surgery is necessary. Surgery for scaphoid fractures involves using a screw to hold the fragments together. If an incision is made in order to push the fracture fragments together, it is known as an open reduction with internal fixation. If a very small incision is made, just big enough for the screw, it is known as a percutaneous fixation. Percutaneous fixation is possible in fractures that are minimally displaced and acute, meaning that they occurred recently. Scaphoid fracture surgery is usually performed on an outpatient basis and is relatively safe. The wrist is placed into a cast following surgery, but does not usually have to be worn for the full 12 weeks as in non-surgical treatment. Physical therapy may be necessary when the fracture heals because of wrist stiffness and weakness after several weeks of casting.